JP Morgan Chase Bank accused of charging minorities more money for home loans. Yeah, now Chase is paying up to the tune of $55 million for its discriminatory practices, which directly impacted many people in our community. And Soup's joining us this morning, attorney Chris Cabanillas, who specializes in mortgage foreclosures. And one of his clients, Luis Alvarez, who was the target of these discriminatory yeah. lending practices. Gentlemen, thanks for coming in this morning. Appreciate it. Uh, Luis, let's start with you. When did you notice you were paying too much, more yeah. than you were supposed to? Oh, Im immediately. So in 2006, when I get the mortgage, uh, right away, um, I feel I'd be like uh, too much money, you know? Right. Because the rate is too much. The rate is too much. And Chris, you I went through I can't afford it. Yeah. And you went through his loans, and you noticed right away, right? Well, what I could see is that, you know, certainly it seemed odd and high. And the problem was that, you know, he goes through an independent mortgage broker. This is exact scenario what happened. Assumes that they're going to give him the best rate. He thinks he's going to get a particular rate. And then what happens is on the closing day, there's a surprise. Wow. And the rate jumps up, and he's stuck. There's yeah. nothing he can do. Because at that point, they're like, you yes. know what? This is what you did. And they said that you couldn't change it at that point, right? Exactly. Right. When, when I get the mortgage... I think that they're going to be help me, but you know that they put my, my mortgage up. Yeah. Am I thinking they put it like it down because I, I don't have nobody can help me, you know? Right. Chris, uh, you know, how, how was it so easy uh, for, you know, companies like J.P. Morgan Chase to get along a and get away with this for so long? Well, the, 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 the way that the system was set up, especially then, was that they used a series uh, or they used a network of independent brokers. And so what happens is that, you know, they may say, all right, the, the interest rate should be on a, on a loan like this mm -hmm. for somebody of his credit score, the income that he makes, maybe it should be 5%, for okay. example. But then what happens is they say, but if you sell it for more, we'll give you a little vig uh -huh. on the extra amount you're going to wow. sell it for. So that's what happens. So what's going to happen? Of course it's going to happen. That right. Way. And at that time, there wasn't the regulation that's around now yeah. that's come as a result of this. And, and you know, obviously preying on people that, you know, uh, that the predatory practice very apparent with the $55 million settlement. So how do people get in on the settlement? How did they know if they're owed this money? Well, I'd say first off, you know, definitely get a copy of your mortgage note. Right. Uh, you should have those from your closing documents. If you don't have them, uh, you can request them from your bank. From there, I would take it and go see a lawyer. Right. Wow. That's a, so, so, Luis, have you gotten a notice already from J.P. Morgan Chase or no? Uh, no. Not yet. So, so you don't know if you're going to be getting anything back from them? You're going to settle this? Is, is there any way to go about getting the rate back to where it was supposed to be originally? Or well, no? I think what's going to happen is because it was a sort of this sort of big across the board settlement, right. they'll probably get notices soon that'll either refund them a check. I was going to say, or, is he going to get his money back? Or, or will credit it somehow against their mortgage. I think that's what's going to happen. Is that fair? Do you believe that's fair what, if you get that money refunded? Oh, that's fair. I, I, I look it better, you know, because I'm going to pay a lot of money with right. the mortgage. Right. Yeah. It's a factor, but just putting money back in your pocket yeah. that's due, and that's exactly what this uh, settlement yeah, is about, yeah, this gotta, $55 million settlement. Got to pay attention when you're going for those home loans. And listen, in a statement, J.P. Morgan denied the allegations. They say they're committed to providing equal access to credit. Yeah, Luis Alvarez, thank you so much for sharing your story with us. You know, I know there are a lot of people probably out there. And Chris Cabanillas, thank you so much for giving us that checklist. If you do feel like you've been targeted yeah. uh, with a faulty home loan, we're going to have Chris's contact information on our PIX11 News app so you can get in touch with him and then he can help you kind of navigate through the nuances of your loan doc and how to really navigate that. Thank you guys. guys thank you.